Hello everyone, I'm Ramesh Kes. In this session, uh, we are discussing one of the important concept uh, that is about cursors. Uh, all of you know about uh, the cursors uh, in PLSQL. Uh, cursors are the two types, implicit cursors and explicit cursors. Uh, normally cursors what it will do now cursors will perform um, uh, it will be executed automatically uh, whenever a particular uh, memory space is allocated Oracle engine uses SQL area in order to execute we require a particular area this area is called cursor so oracle engine uses sql area in order to execute sql statements this sql area is called cursors so the two types of cursors right uh, one is implicit cursors and another one is explicit cursors so in this session we will learn the implicit cursors implicit cursors are declared by plsql implicitly for all dml and plsql statements including queries that returns only one row okay so in the example you can see on the screen this is only one query update query correct so which returns only one row correct so now what is the what is the condition here where where enum is king where enum is king we are updating the employee number as 10 so that is what we are doing here in this statement so what is the next condition here you can observe if sql percentile found then this statement will be executed so what does it mean sql percentile found this is one of the cursor attribute used in implicit cursors okay so what do you mean by sql percentile count sorry sql percentile found so sql percentile found it is a boolean attribute uh, evaluates true if the most recent SQL statement affects one or more rows see this is what it is a boolean attribute boolean means true or false boolean attribute that evaluates true true if the most recent discussion this is a most recent SQL statement this is a most recent SQL statement affects one or more rows see it is affecting one row right so whenever the king is there it will updating as 10 so it affecting one row that means if it is affecting one row means this sql percentile found returns true so once if it is returns true what it will do it will execute this statement right so now in this statement sql percentile row count another cursor attribute used in implicit cursors sql percentile row count what it will perform so SQL percentile row count will perform the number of rows affected by the most recent SQL statement. So what are the number of rows affected? Only one row it is affected. So it will print one value. One is updated. So this is affected one row. That's why it becomes true. It populates and it will execute the statement. And uh, with the help of this cursor attribute, it brings the how many records the total number of records fetched the total number of records fetched in the previous fetch is one that will be printed with the help of dbms output at put line and it will print one is updated let us assume if not if not available king e name is not available let us understand this is not it is not existed let us assume that means it does not return any row right so once if it is not running any row it becomes false once if it becomes false where it will go if it will jumps to else if and again checking this condition what is another cursor attribute this is a cursor attribute another cursor attribute why it performs why it performs it is a boolean attribute that evaluates true if the most recent sql statement does not any rows that means most recent sql statement does not return any rows right so it becomes true now so once if it is true it will be executed this statement dbms output output line not is updated there is no rows updated so there is the importance of this there is the importance of this PLS scale block okay so let us move on into our our i'm taking uh, I am 
car dot sql okay so in this i i am writing the whatever we discuss here right now so we will execute it practically we will come to know how it works okay so all of you know it how we can do this okay so begin statement and null and write like this and try to execute now this is what the way of practicing cars im dot cal sql see plsql procedure successfully executed correct let us move on we will implement our logic okay so what he is doing here update so what he is updating emp so update table update table set emp number okay set emp number is equal to 10 okay where where e name is equal to king okay so next uh what is they are trying to do if sql percent is found then what we are performing dbms output dot put underscore line so what we are updating sql percent l row count sql percent l row count we are concatenating see concatenator operator is used right so we are using concatenation operator and in single quotes is updated one row is updated like that okay close the parenthesis again else if what sql percent is not found percent is not found then again take to take copy this as it is and paste it here and make some changes okay is not updated not updated otherwise you can write zero rows is updated also it is correct okay try to execute it okay now i'm closing it save it i'm going i am sql sorry i am cur dot sql okay oh something went wrong we will see the code again oh sorry end if need to be written here okay yeah one is updated you can see one is updated this is what how <coughs> mc cursor works okay uh, let us move on uh, explicit cursors okay let us move on explicit cursors so this is what explicit cursors so the basic format of the explicit cursors are declare create a named sql area in the declaration section in open identify the active set we are identifying the active set we are fetching the data if the data is empty we are closing if data is no if it is fetching after fetching after it becomes empty again we are finally we are closing test for existing rows and release the active set so before that in fetching in the fetching loading the data current row into the variables so this is a one live example for the explicit cursors you can come to know the importance of this now so what we are performing in this this is cursor see this is cursor we are capturing everything in the emp cur active set okay so we are opening this cursor and we are printing the data which is there in dbms output at put line again we are fetching the records what records we are fetching whatever available in emp cur that we are fetching where we are moving vmp number vname vsel 
these are should be declared in the declaration section we are declared in the declaration section so once the data if it is closed if it is empty we are exiting that means the cursor does not have any records that's why we are exiting we are coming out of this exit and it will print vmp number the data v e name and v cell data finally we are closing the cursor so this is the one of the importance of uh, explicit cursor okay see see the example so this is the cursor data we are bringing into this one we are printing this records okay so this is what uh, explicit cursors thank you everyone